Hello, what's your name? Bill. Hey Bill, my name's Megan. I'm one of the nurses and we're going to do a sports physical for you today. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, I've already washed my hands just so you don't have to worry about any infection problems. And uh, we've already taken your vital signs earlier so you don't have to worry about any of that. Your vital signs were great. First off, tell me your name. Bill. And tell me what today's date is. The 27th. Okay, and tell me what town you're in. Uh, Little Rock. Okay, great. Um, first off, let's take a look at your head. I can see that your head is symmetrical and round. It's normal cephalic. Your scalp is clean. It's pale in color. I don't see any uh, scaliness or lesions, lumps or bumps. Uh, your hair is fine, evenly distributed. I don't see any signs of nits. It's blonde in color. Fix it back. Okay, as far as your face goes, your face is symmetrical as we can see. Your eyes are in the upper third of your face. Your nose is midline. Your mouth is in the lower third of your face. Your neck does seem to be symmetrical. I'm gonna take a list, uh, field of your carotid arteries. And we can see they're both equal and strong. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a listen. Can you hold your breath while I do this? We're going to listen for a, a brewie. And I don't hear anything. If I did, um, it might be a sign of um, some carotid artery um, occlusion. And that's not, we don't want to see that. Let's take a look at your lymph nodes. This is your occipital. This is your postauricular. This is your preauricular. This is your tonsillar. This is your submandibular. This is your submental. This is your supraclavicular, or this is your um, supracervical, postcervical. These are your deep cervicals. And this is your supraclavicular. Okay, as far as your eyes go, I'm gonna get grab a chart real quick. Cover your right eye, for example. Okay, and just read the smallest line that you can. D E F P O T E C. Good. Can you cover your left eye? D E F P O T E C. Okay, and then both eyes? D E F P O T E C. Okay, that shows uh, 20 20, which is great. That's normal vision. If I had an ophthalmoscope, I would be looking for the red reflex and looking for your optic disc, looking for um, your retina and looking at the fundus, but I don't have an ophthalmoscope. So let's take a look at your eyes. Just look straight ahead and see that your pupils are equal, reactive to light with accommodation. Can you follow this with your, just with your eyes? And I can see that your pupils constrict, which is what we want to see. And just follow this with, with your eyes only. I don't see any loss of conjugation. I don't see any nystagmus. I don't see any ptosis of the eyelids. Okay, and as far as your ears go, I can see that they are fairly warm. They have immediate recoil. Is there any tenderness here? No. Any tenderness over your tragus? No. Any tenderness over your mastoid process? No. Let's take a look out on the outside of your ear. I don't see any foreign bodies, don't see any redness, don't see any swelling. Just a small amount of earwax is present. If I had an otoscope, I'd be looking for your eardrum and hoping that it's a pearly gray and white eardrum. I'd be looking for any redness, any swelling, any inflammation, any foreign bodies, anything like that. Um, as far as your nose goes, we can see that your nose is midline. Can you breathe through this? Can you breathe through this? So both of your nares are patent. And that's good. As far as your lips goes, your lips are pink. They're symmetrical. They're moist. I don't see any cracks or lesions in, in your lips. Can you open your mouth really wide? I 
can see that uh, your teeth are all white, they're all present, they all seem to be in good repair. I can see that your tonsils, stick your tongue out, push your foot. I can see that your tonsils are present. I don't see any redness, swelling, or signs of exudate. I can see that your uvula rises midline. Dorsal surface of your tongue is pink and roughened. It's got some white plaque on it. Lift your tongue up. I can see that the ventral surface of your tongue is slick and uh, glistening and it has, uh, the veins are prominent. Don't see any, don't see any problems with your gingiva. No receding, no bleeding, no inflammation. Okay, can you hop up for a second? Just over this. Okay, we can see that your anterior posterior is a one to two ratio, which is what we want to see. Your spine is midline, it's in an S shaped curve, which is also what we want to see. Can you turn this way? And just take a deep breath in. Your chest expands bilaterally, symmetrically. There you go, you can go ahead and hop up back up here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just focus in a couple of areas. Any tenderness? No. 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 Okay. Hop up one, one more time, sorry. Now listen on the back side of your chest real quick. Turn towards me. Deep breath in. Another breath. Another breath, another breath, another breath, another breath. So we see your vesicular sounds are present in all of your peripheral lung fields. On the side, another breath. And laterally as well, turn around. One more time. You have good skin, Turker. We're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Breathe. I don't hear any adventitious breath sounds. Okay, go ahead and hop up back up here. As far as your chest and your heart go, I don't see any lifts or heaves or pulsations visibly, which is good. We're going to look at your landmarks right now on the on your left side, second intercostal left sternal border. This is your aortic here. This is your, uh, no, this is your, this is your right side, okay. This is your aortic here on your uh, second intercostal space, right sternal border. And then this is your pulmonic over here on your left side, right sternal border. This is the third intercostal space, left sternal border. That's your tricuspid. And then this is your, um, I'll go down one more, fifth intercostal space, right sternal border, and that's your tricuspid. And then moving over, this is your mitral space, fifth intercostal space, midclavicular is your mitral. So I'm gonna listen to all those sounds real quick on both sides of the stethoscope.
on the maximal impulse that is not palpable. Go ahead and lay down and uh, we're gonna do a quick look at your abdomen. If you can, crunch up. Crunch up? Well, yeah, crunch up if you can so you're not too uncomfortable. I can tell with your abdomen, you just got a small amount of hair. Your skin's uniform in color. There's no lesions. There's no stretch marks. There's no vascularities. It's soft. Um, the contour is fairly scaphoid or um, caved in. I don't see any peristalsis going on. I don't see any signs of pulsations. Now we're just gonna palpate a little bit. Well, I'm gonna listen first. This is your right lower quadrant. It, it, this is your right lower quadrant. It has things like your appendix, your right upper quadrant, houses things like your, uh, like your liver. I can hear normal active bowel sounds. Your left upper quadrant houses uh, things like your stomach. And uh, your left lower quadrant houses your descending colon. I can hear bowel sounds fairly easily, so they seem to be normal active. Very good. Can you go ahead and sit up? As far as your skin goes, do you have any issues with your skin as far as breaks in your skin? No. issues with your skin no. I noticed this part here but you had told me earlier that you've already gotten that looked at mm -hmm. and that it's just gonna take some time for it to get bothersome enough for them to cut, cut on it and get it out right mm -hmm. okay any other troubles with your skin no. okay great um, if you don't mind me taking your radial pulses Your radial pulses are both very strong. They're equal in rhythm. They're both easily palpable. Can you pop your, uh, there you go. Your brachial pulses are both equal in rhythm. They're a bit weaker. I give about a one plus. I give these about a two plus. It doesn't seem like you lift your legs for me. It doesn't You have no edema in your ankles or legs that I can tell. And your dorsalis pedis pulse is, dorsalis pedis pulse, I always get these confused. This is your um, tibial, this is your tibial pulse which I can feel the, um, the pulses, but they're weak, about a one plus. This is your dorsalis pedis pulse. While you have your feet up, your toe, nails, the capillary refill is less than three seconds. Can I feel your hands? Your fingernails are translucent. The degree is less than 160. I don't see any clubbing. I don't see any cyanosis. They seem to be warm. Do you have any questions for me? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Well, looks like you've checked out for your sports physical. Thank you very much.